Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy! Welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass! I'm gonna get dizzy if I keep doing this. Right on cue. Last time, we made it to the Isle of Gust and drew lots of personality all over the map. Along that way, we found many, many items, as well as the way into the temple on this island where the next spirit rests that'll help us find the ghost ship. This time... Welcome to the Temple of Wind. A uh, whole place built in my honor. I am the hero of winds, after all. We're finally inside, Link. Looks like we won't escape the sudden gusts inside the temple either. Be careful. This thing popped a sudden gust pill. Let's be ready for it. So these blowy octos, as I have dubbed them, they're strategically placed to blow you into a pit if you're not paying attention. Use the fact they have no collision to your advantage. Thank you, tutorial camera. I'm sure I would have noticed anyway when walking up here, but you know. You are being thoughtful. It's the first time in this dungeon. I'll let it slide this time. I gotta say, I'm really happy about this. This, um, if this doesn't show that, like, for a handheld game, this actually has a pretty sizable amount of content, we're only on the second dungeon, or, and this is, what, episode 12 so far? Like, it's pretty decent in the way of content. I know we have the Temple of the Ocean King, but I don't really count that as a full-fledged dungeon just because... Never mind opinions about it, we kind of haven't really been through a lot of it, and we see that there's more to it even still. So we've yet to actually complete it. Because we want to be technical, maybe it's the fourth dungeon, but that first visit did not count. Here we see that, as made famous by A Link to the Past, two floors are visible at one time, and they're going to be doing stuff to play with the perspective of it. Not really all that hard to remember, just kind of a little thing that I appreciate a little bit more now that I've, you know, played through Link to the Past and seen all that it has to offer. Hello, buddy. I'm going to step on you and get a shortcut back to the entrance. Smash all those pots all at once. Already, we already have 619 rupees again. <laughs> I am gonna go back out to Beetle Shop Ship, or potentially the Mask Ship, and I'm going to be thinking, oh my god, I could actually buy the Power Gem. I Should I? Should I really? <laughs> also, these walls up here, they kind of look like the side of the Roman Colosseum. I've always thought that they do, and I don't know if I'll really have much more opportunity to say that, so. Well, definitely now we're not going to have an opportunity to say it. We got a room full of mooks. Defeat all enemies to advance, but it's not really as hard as it seems. I don't know if that was supposed to be threatening or what. Didn't really do anything for me, and... I don't trust you. I still don't trust you. I really do not trust you. Uh, wait, can I trust you? Uh, okay. All those years of fighting rupee likes made me not want to trust you, but I guess that's... I guess some dungeon makers, you know, outfit their temples with money for the hero. You know, it's a tip, really. Because it's the Temple of Winds, and they knew that one day in the prophecy that the Hero of Winds would come to save whatever spirit is imprisoned here. I appreciate your tips. Tips are appreciated. My salary of being a Hero of Winds is not really all that high. Uh, next we got this going on over here. Um, if we go up top, you can see that the boss door is up at the top, but there's these blocks in the way, and they just barely don't blow you high enough to deal with it. So instead, now that we push that, leap of faith! Make it on across and get another shortcut to the shortcut back to the entrance. And we move on to the next floor. Now, I have to say... Ooh, I guess maybe I don't have to say. Wow, this room's even less threatening than the last. By looking at the map, you can see there are some enemies around here. Tap your sword to see which ones are real. These are rock choo-choos. They come after you like zombies. They look actually kind of creepy. You must use bomb flowers to deal with them. Otherwise, they are invincible to all of our other attacks. And if you want to be extra classy, kill them with the very thing meant to protect them. It's like beating someone with their own shoe. Okay, I don't know where I got that from. I really don't. I was trying to think of an analogy and then I just kind of stopped and then it was really awkward and the door opened and that breaking the silence made it even worse. Anyway, as I was saying, I really have to say, one thing that I have missed a lot more than I realized that I've noticed from doing the series is that I miss the days 
of old Nokia phones where you only had to charge your portable devices maybe once a week, and if you forgot, then oh, no big deal, you know, just so long as you remember every few days, it's fine. Unlike today, where if you forget to plug in your phone before bed, then... Whoops-a-daisy, I guess you're just without a cell phone for a day. I have not ch plugged in this DS to charge it even one time since st I started playing this game. Uh, probably want to read this really quick. When two wings flutter, the door will swing wide. Okay, remember that for later. Just in case I forgot, you know? Uh, yeah, I have not plugged in this DS to charge one time since starting this playthrough. And it's still got a green light in the corner! For all the times, like a daily, it's a daily occurrence. Seeing my phone give me a low battery warning, and my 3DS give me a low battery warning, and my Switch give me a low battery warning. I forgot how awesome it was having 10 to 12 hour battery life on all of your portable devices. Yeah, you could say it's a trade off, and then that lower battery life goes into having internet anywhere in the world, and having apps, and having cameras on your refrigerator. I guess, but this arrow is still good and I miss it. <laughs> we got a courage gem right there. Collectibles in dungeons are a pretty regular thing. It's kind of spotty if Zelda games do it or don't, so thought I would tell you, this one's a do. Uh, here, we can see that there's a block over there that we can't do anything about. We can't get over to it because again, air blowing up from the ground is only going to move you to the north. We get on the spout, however, and plug up that one. We land right on top of it and can go on to this next passage. Pretty good use of wind, I have to say. These puzzles are pretty creative, and you know they're not super hard to figure out or anything, but it's the second dungeon. It's actually a pretty fun place. Oh, I remember this room. I remember this room. Hello. Tell me of the chests. Boing, boing. The number of treasure chests left here is two. It'll cost you 20 rupees. No! I was saying I spoke too soon when calling this place fun. <laughs> Got that bomb flower, and you guessed it. On the hard sand, they won't chase you. On the soft sand, they will. Couldn't make that rhyme in any way that I tried. You stay here. Um, gonna try to make this work. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, not gonna work. It's really rough kind of digging holes and making sure that you don't get caught by these guys. There's not bomb flowers in a whole ton of places. I know that there are more. When all the pillars of wind rise, the doors will open. Who says note taking can't be fun? All they had to do was make a video game about it and it made kids want to do it. Uh, all right, gonna stay here, wait for those guys to pass. I don't like going other, I don't like going other, I don't like going other. Hurry, 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 hurry. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Uh, there is chest number one containing a power gem. That was significantly better than I thought it was going to be. I knew that there were two collectibles that were really worth getting in this dungeon, but uh, wow, that was, that was really, really good compared to what I was expecting in such an easy to reach chest. Jokes on you, Brick Road. Not all easy to reach chests are disappointing. But some heroes are. Oh, God. I am sorry that I made fun of these guys. They're getting their revenge now because, you know, outside I don't find them that threatening because there's bomb flowers everywhere. But in here, they just freak me out because it feels like they're going to get you at all times. It feels like you're very much on their turf and not anyone else's, least of all your own. And. Uh, it's just, it's not to the point where every time I see sand in real life now, I tiptoe over it very slightly, and then if my friends don't do the same thing, I freak out and yell at them, and then I realize, oh crap, I just made too much noise, I have doomed us all, and then resign to a fetal position as I wait for the end to come. Or anything weirdly specific like that. I just don't like it, okay? Whoa, blah, 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 out of the, you attacked me inside of the cutscene! That's not fair, come on. We got two doors open. Uh, one up here, which I guess we'll go to first because we're right here. More bomb flowers, which I'm gonna give a little poke. Eh, I got a little bit of shrapnel in my cheek, but eh, just a flesh wound. Boing oing, there are no treasure chests on this floor. Good to know. Always appreciate being told when I have nothing to do. Oh, camera. I said I'd let it slide last time, and I guess I'm letting it slide this time too. Russian past, Russian past, Russian past. Oh god, no, 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 barely! Ha, I bet you hit your head on that hard sand underneath the ground. But that didn't feel very good, now did it? 
don't know why I have such a strong animosity toward these things just in this room, but I do. Okay, now you're not being so cute anymore, camera. We have to be over this. I wouldn't really refer to those things as wings, but oh well. Gonna grab our first small key. Been a long time coming, I have to say. And now we're gonna go back over to these pillars of wind and I'll meet you back downstairs. Uh. Worked that time. And in the big chest, you got bombs. You can hold up to 10 in your bomb bag. That's a funny looking bomb bag. Tap the spot where you want to throw your bomb and throw it there. We were able to hold 10 of these at a time. Pretty nice. Yes, I got to break all these. I'm just rolling in money and it feels good to keep collecting them. And now we let these guys who were terrifying our childhood feel our traumatized wrath. Next time, think before you scare a child. Next up, going up through this wall, or I guess it is just a wall, it's not really so much a door. You can see on the map, there's another area over here, including a big green rupee that's off in its own little world. I think that's an invitation to go dowsing. Oh, whoa, oh. Thanks for ruining it. Thank you, okay, yeah, we'll try this. Blast away the wall. And now we have seen more big green rupees than we haven't seen. This little nook is kind of nice. I'd like to kind of go to sleep in here, especially like with how it looked when the camera was zoomed in. It looks surprisingly nice. It's one of those things where you have to wonder how good the textures actually were in DS games because you can't really see them all that well in the actual game. And now you have art asset resource websites and boundary rate coming along so that it can finally be appreciated even though this is good artwork that wasn't appreciated back in its day. It sounds like Picasso or some artist who was not popular when they were alive and then they died and their art became worth a fortune. I hope none of the artists for I was gonna say for any game are dead though, but that's kind of impossible. <laughs> gonna throw that bomb and then every 3D Zelda's gotta have one. Chains of bombs are so satisfying. Oh, it's timed. You will live another day, choo choo. <laughs> But you guys won't. Throw in a rock at them, unfortunately, rock does not break rock. And as before, just simply tapping where you want the bomb to go will determine where it is. If you're too far away, just tap, tap and release where you want to go, Link will walk within range of it. It's really, really easy. Blank faces hide truth as well as blemish ones. Study the walls carefully. Okay. Blank faces hide truth blemished ones to study carefully walls. I'm getting full mileage out of that feature. Don't tell me what to do. I find ways to have fun taking notes. I'm not hurting anyone except myself when I use bombs. Okay, got a little heart there. Make up for what I lost. And yeah, this really just looks like the side of the Roman Colosseum to me. It's a pretty interesting look and I don't think you really see it anywhere else. So it's definitely unique to the architecture of this place. Pop that open. And I think we're pretty good to go onward. Gotta check him. Nothing. Oh, no, there's one. It's just satisfying to beat him because there's two steps involved and one of them involves using the shiny new item that we got. Explosions are shiny, right? I guess it's a little bit debatable. I don't know. Do explosions count as shiny? It's in the eye of the beholder, I think. There we go. Hit that from the other side. It was marked by the checkerboard pattern on the other side of the wall. And then... Uh, okay. I don't know what you're really showing me there. But whatever makes you feel useful. Throw down the two bombs and... Brrr, There's the boss key! It's a huge, heavy key! I'm so appreciative they call it the boss key and not the big key. Way, way more than you know. Way, way more than you know. 
Gonna put down the bombs. We've made it back to where the boss door is. And how convenient. You see what I'm saying? How I don't really get why they bother with making you carry the boss key and how I don't hate this mechanic. I'm just a little confused as to why it's here because we're now two for two on it being right next to the door anyway. So it's not like it really presents a new challenge. It's just kind of adding an extra step onto a process that would take a few less seconds. Well, these winds are getting stronger. So strong that they're lifting up my body. Somebody's been lifted up by wind before. It feels really surreal when it happens. I do not envy you, Link. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. We could. We could also stock up on bombs. Also stock up on health. And we could also go on to our fight. Cyclops, stir of winds! Careful, that bloated beast can summon cyclones. Hey Link, this hallway's all twisted. You see these cyclones on the ground, spawn out of these various areas. He swoops down from the top screen. You can watch his position. Oh, nope. Wasn't quite able to pull it off in time because the cyclone moved over here. He's coming over. Not quite. Come on. This is really cool when you can pull it off. There it is! You just smack him right out of the sky and, oh wow, I got him with a bomb. That might even be some bonus damage. I'm not sure. I've never seen that happen before, so I guess we'll both learn something new here today. This is such a creative idea, having the boss fight span across the two screens. There's a cool way of using bombs on a boss, certainly better than just, you know, making them eat the bombs for the 15th time. And it's very satisfying to pull it off. It's an interesting way. I guess maybe it's not super unique, but it's yet another way that the Diaz's features are put together in a meaningful way that made a fun and interesting idea for a boss. He's just going right into it every time. He doesn't really seem to have all that much resolve to dodge our attacks. Usually he's more dodgy than this and not quite this easy. Not gonna complain or anything, but you know, those really fun boss fights that you don't quite want to be over as quickly as they are. Now he's launching some of those after us and we can see that there were effigies to him all over this island. How there were, oh, lots of Octoraki looking things. Those statues that were breathing wind all this time were a somewhat of a homage to him. Buddy, I'm the hero wind, not some random octopus. You gotta be put in your place. Oh, he's still going, okay. On to cycle number five. Gonna try to time this. Oh, here it comes. Oh. How dare you hurt me with wind. Oh, oh, I just barely clipped him, okay. Hit him again. I guess the bomb didn't count. Got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass. Two minutes have been added. I am Neri, the spirit of wisdom. Thank you for slaying that vile monster. Now the seal has been broken, and I'm free. Look, Link. This time it's the spirit of wisdom, Neri! <laughs> See, Ella, you're killing it. We came all this way to seek your help. The Ocean King must be locked up somewhere, too. Spirit of Power is with you. Of course I'll help! The 
Spirit of Wisdom Nary has joined your group. Find one more spirit to track down the ghost ship. I've been a right collector of these lately, so how thoughtful of you to get me a heart container! Seven hearts already, man. Seven of these suckers. That's two spirits down. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we go off to see Linebeck and see what he thinks of all this, and then... We sail around, taking our bombs to various places, seeing what they open. See you guys then.